I've been using the OnePlus 13 for a bit now, and this phone is perfection. I was never really a OnePlus fanboy, but now, heck, I might be. This phone checks all of the boxes that I look for in a phone. I actually released my first impressions video yesterday where I cover a lot of what I love about this phone. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. But anyway, one of those boxes is battery life because, well, let's be honest, it doesn't matter how good your phone is if it's just dead before the day ends. It just becomes a paperweight. This phone, however, is so good, it doesn't even make sense. First of all, we have brand new battery technology. So for example, like 99% of phones out there use lithium ion batteries, just like most of all of your electronics. But the OnePlus 13 finally incorporates silicon carbon battery technology. That's huge. This is super important because it allows companies to stuff more battery into a smaller footprint. So as an example, this phone has 6,000 milliamp hour battery inside, 6,000, and it's only eight and a half millimeters thin. I mean, even with this case on, by the way, this OnePlus case is pretty sick looking, not gonna lie. But even with the case on, that's thin, that's thin as heck. Eight point or eight and a half millimeters, right? So for example, my iPhone, uh, what it has the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's a 4,600 milliamp hour battery cell and it's 8.2 millimeters thin. So hardly any difference in thickness, but a massive difference in battery capacity. But that's just one of the benefits of silicon carbon batteries. The other one is faster charging without having to worry about battery degradation. And I have a feeling a lot more companies are going to start putting silicon carbon batteries into their phones because guys, I, look, I've reviewed maybe 100 phones by now or close to 100 phones, and this phone outlasts any of them. Just as an example, during one of my days of testing, I achieved seven hours and 41 minutes of screen on time, and my off the charger time was 36 hours. In other words, a day and a half. That's crazy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, that was with scheduled dark mode. So throughout the entire day, it's on light mode and only goes into dark mode like past 5 p.m. or exactly at 5 p.m. I forgot what I have it set at. But anyway, that, that's just crazy. Other phones that I reviewed, for example, the, the Pixel, the, the, the Pixel 9 Pro XL. This phone also gets me around seven hours of screen on time, but the off the charger time is much, much lower, like closer to 15, 16, 17 hours off the charger. <laughs> this is 36 hours off the charger. That's bonkers. As another example, here's my seven day trend. And as you can see, I'm not even using 50% of my battery in a single day. Now let's take a look at my iPhone 16 Pro Max because it's my second phone. And as you guys can tell, I'm already laughing and smiling because it's nowhere close. On this specific day where I used the most amount of battery, about, I don't know, 75 to 80%, it only got me a screen on time of two hours and 42 minutes with my screen idle time being only four hours and 10 minutes. Or on this day where I got exactly 50% of my battery and it only got me an hour and 31 minutes of screen on time and nearly four hours of idle time. The iPhone has just been the most inconsistent phone for me when it comes to battery life. I don't get it but it's not good, not even close. I mean, heck, let's check right now. I'll even show you guys right now. Let, let me go into the OnePlus battery page and I'll show you the screen on time from when I woke up this morning. So let's see, uh, right there. So my time used is five hours, or the, uh, the time since last charge, five hours and 30 minutes right there. And my screen on time since last charge, two hours and 20, come on camera focus, two hours and 20 minutes. You, you guys probably can't see that, but it's two hours and 20 minutes and five hours, 30 minutes off the charger. Now let's check my, that's not my iPhone. Now let's check my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So right now my iPhone is at 89% of battery. Can you guys see that? Yeah, come on, focus. 89% of battery right there, boom. And my OnePlus, is at 85, 85%, right? So my iPhone today, let's see the last 10 days, let's click on today. <laughs> uh, my screen active time is six minutes, right? Six minutes screen active, 
and my screen idle is 56 minutes. Uh, I had my uh, charge limit set to 95%. And like I said, the phone now is at 89%. So I use I use 6% of my battery with only a screen active time of six minutes and my screen idle time of 56 minutes. That's horrible. And like I said, with my, with my OnePlus 13, my battery life is at 85%. And so uh, I lost 15% of battery because I did charge it to 100%. So 15% of battery would, is getting me two hours and 21 minutes of screen on time and five hours, 31 minutes since last charge. It, you cannot kill this phone in a single day. It's not possible. But even if, and that's a big if, you somehow manage to drain the battery in, you know, throughout the day, don't worry, you can plug it into the included 80 watt charger. Thank you, OnePlus, for not skipping out on that. And in 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you have enough battery to last you the entire rest of the day, well into the next day, actually. Look, whatever OnePlus did, it's so good. So if you guys were wondering how good the battery is on the OnePlus 13, I hope this video helped you out. Um, you don't have to worry, believe me. As someone that tested, like I said, close to 100 Android phones by now, believe me when I say this, you don't have to worry, <laughs> like at all. So if any of you guys have the OnePlus 13, let me know your experience down below with the battery life. And if you're thinking about buying the OnePlus 13, let me know what feature you're excited for the most because the cameras, are really good like a, a lot more videos coming up so subscribe if you, if you haven't already and uh, like i said if this video helped you out leave that like button and that's it as always this was mark from mark stack adios